Steve Good and welcome to my scroll saw workshop. Out in the shop tonight to do another product review and this product is brought to you uh, from the same people that brought you the Bigfoot. I did a video review on the Bigfoot a while back and if you'll remember uh, the Bigfoot is designed as an attachment for the DeWalt DW788 uh, and what it allowed you to do once it was installed was keep the upper arm of the DeWalt in the upright position while you change blades or inserted the blade through another entry hole. If you have the DeWalt, you'll know that's been a problem with this saw for uh, since the beginning. Uh, people have used blocks of wood and all kinds of things to keep these arms up. And uh, it's a feature that's hard to believe DeWalt overlooked. Uh, the new Delta saws that are the cousins of this saw do have uh, a little device that keeps the arm up. But if you've got this old DeWalt DW788, uh, what we're going to talk about tonight is the Bigfoot lift and lock. And this is the lift and lock right here. And the advantage of the lift and lock over the original Bigfoot is, let me take the tension off the blade here and release the blade. The original Bigfoot mounted right here and it would pivot down when you uh, were ready to change blades and it would hold the upper arm of the DeWalt in the upright position. The concern with this was that it limited the size of wood that you could uh, insert into the blade when you were doing uh, the blade through an entry hole because it was down here in the way. So David, the inventor of the Bigfoot, decided to go back to the drawing board and add another product uh, to his company and that's the lift and lock and that's what we're going to talk about here tonight. The lift and lock has the advantage of not having any interference with your project when you're threading the blade through the entry hole. Now the way this works is very simple and we'll go through the installation of it here after I show you how it works. Once you're ready to change your blade or do another entry hole, you just take the tension off, release the blade, lift the upper arm up, turn this little wing nut right here to tighten it down and it's in the upright position and you can see we have no interference with the table uh, to interfere with piercing the wood with the blade. So that's the uh, Bigfoot lift and lock and it's, uh, in my opinion, it works very well. The, uh, it's a very simple device. It's one piece of plastic. In this case, uh, he customized it for me and put the scroll saw workshop on it, uh, but I'm assuming that's just for me. Hopefully it won't be on yours. And it's basically just this wing nut, a couple of bolts, some washers, and you're good to go. So with that, I'm going to go ahead and take this one back off and then we'll reinstall it to show you uh, how easy it goes on. Okay, now that you've seen how the lift and lock works, I want to show you how easy it is to install. When you get your package in the mail, you're going to get the lift and lock arm, which is a very sturdy three millimeter thick plastic. You're going to get two white washers, two colored washers, two long uh, nuts and bolts, and one bolt with a wing nut welded to the end of it. Okay, we're ready to install the lift and lock on the DeWalt DW788, and you're gonna need a couple tools. You're gonna need a screwdriver, a flat tip, and a couple of Allen wrenches. And the Allen wrenches are to remove the uh, bolts out of the uh, DeWalt that have to be removed to install the bolts that come with the kit. The first one we're going to remove is this one right here. If you look at this black shroud that covers the uh, the uh, head of the scroll saw, uh, this bolt right here is the one we're going to remove. So I'll use my Allen wrench and take that one out. And we can set that aside and we can save it for later. Next we want to remove these two bolts right here. And uh, in this case I'll remove them from the back and uh, there's a, uh, uh, a nut on this side, and on this side, we've got another Allen wrench. And I'm going to step across here. And I've already got the front one removed. There wouldn't be any sense putting it back in. So I'm going to take my Allen wrench and remove this screw here. So now we've removed a total of three different bolts here, here, and the lower bolt here. Okay? We're going to take our two long bolts that come with the kit, 
take the nuts off of them and go ahead and run them through the DeWalt. Um, the back bolt for me is a little tight and the reason I've got this screwdriver out is because uh, I needed to use it to get this back bolt in. Uh, yours may simply just push through. If they do that's fine but if not you can take a screwdriver to run it on through. Get them seated all the way in. And now we're ready to install the lift and lock arm. Take the arm and the two holes that are in the back, making sure the hockey stick's pointing down, and just slip them right over these two bolts we just installed. Now what we want to do is take the two white washers that come with the kit and put one on each of the bolts. Now we can take the nuts that came with the kit, run them up, and they just need to be snug. And we've got the back part of the kit already installed. Now, we're ready to do the last step of the installation of the lift and lock, and that is to install the wing nut and the two colored washers onto the lift and lock arm. Uh, the way you do this is just pull the arm out a little bit. I'm going to place one of the washers behind the arm, one of the washers in front of the arm, so we've got them sandwiched. We're going to take the wing nut, push it through the front washer, through the lift and lock arm, through the rear washer, and then into the hole in the head of the scroll saw where we remove the first uh, bolt. Now, the next step uh, that you want to do is you want to go ahead and tighten this down until it just feels snug and then back it up a turn, maybe two turns. And what you're looking for is you're looking for the place where this is loose, loose enough that when you release the tension and release the blade and you lift the arm, it moves up and down very smoothly. Let me see if I can go a little tighter. See there it's a little bit snug, kind of snagged on me the first time. So just back off a little bit and you can leave it right there. So now all we have to do is lift the arm up when we're ready to change our blade. A couple quick turns of the wing nut and there we are with the DeWalt DW7088 uh, with the arm in the up position. Um, this is a really nice product. Uh, David, the owner and inventor of this product, has done a really good job of using high quality materials um, I'm very impressed with the, the arm itself. Uh, it's a good thick material and even though it is plastic, I don't see any wear points on it or any, any reason for uh, any breakage of any type. Um, and I think it works really well. I, I don't have any complaints at all. Um, it does solve the original problem of not being able to use extremely long boards with the original Bigfoot. Uh, it doesn't get in the way. Uh, so I think it's another product that uh, David can be proud of. The product sells for $19.95 plus shipping and handling. And uh, you can go to De David's website and uh, order these. They're available right now. Uh, I will put the uh, website in the uh, blog post and also below the video on YouTube. Uh, you'll be able to click on that and go to the site and place an order. I'm Steve Good. I hope you like this review. And we'll see you next time here at the Scroll Saw Workshop.